very, I like it. It's very streamlined. So good. That whole set. Um, Take you a while to get used to, eh? Yeah. And once no, you're no. used to it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is he coming through? There it is. sound coming through for you?
down the road, exit on your, on your left and enter on your right, which will be on your left as you're entering. Um, and then once everything's over, I know you're going to be wanting to get next to your graduate. We're just asking that we try to avoid congregating in the back once the program is over. Now there is a photo booth you might have noticed when you came in and we will have someone there. So if you would like to take a picture with your graduate, that's fine. That's what we're here for or what that, that area is there for. And then after the program, um, we will be sending out a location or a link online where you can access those photos. Now kind of on the same topic, we did uh, also put a number of photos from formal online they are still in the process of being uploaded because there were, I don't know, close to over a thousand photos that were taken on the night. And so as they're being sifted through, they're being uploaded. So we'll also be sending out that link so that all of the students will be able to access photos from the night um, because some of those are quite awesome pictures. And um, Then the other thing that we need to, in relation to COVID is, um, 
we need to limit all of the parents to this space and the car park. Uh, we are allowed to bring guests into this space, but we're not allowed to go into the rest of the school. And so once this is over, we'll just have to ask you to either take photos here, maybe out in the car park, which is not a great place for photos, but um, yeah, not, not out in the rest of the school. The last thing I guess that deals with that is um, oftentimes in the past there's been kind of a, a cultural expectation that once the certificate has been awarded, then um, families would like to also give a number of congratulatory gifts and lays and all those kinds of things. We're going to have to ask that again, you wait until the recessional, once the, once the graduates are off the stage and back in the back, then you're welcome to give as many gifts as you would like to during that time. I think that takes care of all the preliminaries. So first of all, I would like to thank you for coming. And right now I will invite Pastor Alexis Ratu to begin this ceremony with a word of prayer. Good afternoon, Mac family. Oh, that doesn't sound like family. <laughs> Come on, year 12. Your kids have just done 13 years of schooling, and you're here to celebrate. So good afternoon, Mac family. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I invite you to bow your heads as we say a word of prayer. Our Father in heaven, we want to thank you for the opportunity to be here today to celebrate the achievements of our children. We thank you that in this time and in this place, we can look back and see how your hand has been a part of our children's lives. I thank you, Father, for the families, the parents that are seated here today. I thank you for their, their trust in this school community by giving us their children so that we could raise them to, yes, know about curriculum, but also to know about who you are. And as we come to this time where we look back, it's also a time where we look forward because you are the God that has wonderfully and fearfully made each one of us. And you're the God that knows the plans that you have for us. So may we take this time today to be grateful for how you have molded and shaped our year 12 graduates. And as we celebrate, may we think of how you're going to use these students in the future. So bless our time together, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I invite your family to stand as our Year 12 our graduates uh, enter. <laughs>
Thank you. You can all be seated. Our Welcome to Country will be presented by Liana Anderson and Tia Pimenta. Today we acknowledge our God and Saviour Jesus Christ. We acknowledge you, Lord, because you are the creator, provider, and supreme owner of all things. We also respectfully acknowledge the Darawal people who are the traditional custodians of this land. We pay tribute to the elders past and present and acknowledge that they have cared for this country over countless generations. We recognize and continue contributing to uh, that the Darawal people make to the life of this region and pray that we can work together and to leave a legacy of reconciliation, justice, and hope to all future Australians. Our national anthem will be sung by Jasmine, Julianne, and Vanessa, and they will be accompanied by Mr. Balagay. Again, I ask you to please be upstanding for the national anthem. Seated. I would like to welcome. I'd like to welcome our students' families, teachers, and Mr. Hobson to today's ceremony. I would also like to welcome our Year Twelves. Today is about you. We would like to congratulate you and celebrate all your achievements and successes that have got you to this point. Congratulations, and I hope you enjoy your very last event at high school. Good afternoon, families, friends, principal, teachers, and dis distinguished guests. My name is Yamre Musokni, and this is Joshua Savea. Over the last few years here at MAC, we have learned so much as a collective and as individuals.
Ms. Kumar taught us equations and formulas that we surely will be using in our daily life. You know, just in case someone buys, decides to buy 15 watermelons. Mr. Strawn and Mr. Hidalgo taught us how to analyze and be critical when, when, um, when validating and perspective, uh, perspective of our favorite so source, Wikipedia. Mr. Balagay taught us the superiority of classical music. He is also my hype man. Mrs. Mene and Mr. Mrs. Granskeeper taught us uh, the mind-numbing process of analyzing film and literature. And Mr. Beebe and Mr. Henderson um, told dad jokes. These are only a few examples of the education that has contributed to us becoming a consummate learners we are today. And all of this knowledge and these memories will no doubt be valuable as we move forward through life. But seriously, one of more important things that we have learned during our time here at MAC is how to overcome challenges, both good and bad. Challenges we face as individuals, as a year, and as a Mac family. We have also set challenges for ourselves, like becoming better leaders, participating in service projects, studying for specific subjects, or waking up early to avoid late to school detentions. You see, success in these challenges would not have been possible if it weren't for our effort, the support of our teachers, and most importantly, God's guidance to show us the way forward. Over the next few minutes, we'd like to talk about what we've learned, the people we have to thank, and the people we have to remember. The most important thing we have learned here at MAC was to endure the challenges we face and to mature into adults that we hope to embody. Throughout the years, we have enjoyed many interesting moments together and learned to work, and learned to work as a team, whether it was in the spirit of competition or in good faith. We have worked together, we have worked hard together and supported each other during the transition into each new year. We have endured the pandemic and supported one another to get through assignments and classroom activities. We have learned that it's, imp that it's impossible to achieve a goal by yourself, but anything is achievable through teamwork and faith. We have learned that anything is possible through the confidence in the support that will forever support you and they'll never stop supporting. Joshua 1 verse 9 says, be strong and courageous. Do not stop, do not be frightened or dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And Deuteronomy 31 verse 6 to eight and 8 says, be strong and bold. Have no, have no fear or dread of them because it is the Lord your God who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. These are the words that will remind us that whatever trials and tribulations you go through in, lives, in your lives, you will always have a team beside you, visible or not. And I would like to take a moment to thank the people that have supported us and brought us to this point in our life's journey. First and foremost, we'd like to say a huge thank you and show our gratitude to God. We'd like to thank him for guiding us over the years and showing up in both our darkest and brightest places. Second, we'd like to thank all the parents who have been with us since day one for putting up with us and for waking us up early to get ready to school. There's never a day that goes by uh, that we can't think of the hard work and dedication you've shown throughout our lives. To the mums and dads out there, they, um, may God bless you abundantly and be with you throughout this year and the many years to come. Thirdly, we'd like to thank a number of people here at school, beginning with a huge thank you to our principal, Mrs. Calandra, for giving us the opportunity to be your school captains for this year for the many hours of work you have dedicated to this school and throughout our years here at MAC. We are grateful for your contribution in our educational journey and wish you the best in your leadership in many years to come. To our stage leader, Mr. Beebe, who began as a teacher since the beginning of our high school journey, we as a year appreciate and thank you for the amount of work and effort you've done throughout our high school years we've had at MAC. We will never forget the many camping trips we shared with you and classes you've taught us our, uh, throughout our years. You've made such a huge impact on us and we wish you all the best as you shine your light towards other students here at MAC. To Year 12 APCG teacher, Mr. Faremo, who would always entertain the students to make them feel happy. The only teacher I know that wears sneakers with any formal uniform he'd put on. We'd like to say thank you for giving us support throughout our senior years of high school and encouraging us to strive for bigger and better things. 
to our 12B PCG teacher, Mr. Paletti, would like to thank you for giving us many life lessons, teaching us to look at the bigger picture and encouraging us to pursue our dreams. I have lost track of the number of times I was asked to say prayer or do worship, even when arriving late at two class. However, it taught me to never stop praying and helped me improve on my relationship with God. We are grateful to both of you for being a part of our journey and wish each of you the very best in the years to come. We'd like to say a big thank you to Mrs. Kuma. What a blessing and privilege it has been to have a second mother here at school. Your acts of kindness towards us will never be forgotten and you'll forever live in our memories. For the teachers who have taught us the, our chosen subjects, we'd like to say thank you for your hard work and putting up with us in our daily basis. Also for the librarians, administration, office, and IT staff, we thank you. Without your support and guidance, our journey would have been more difficult, confusing, and aimless. Finally, we'd like to take a moment to remember our classmates and teachers who are not with us today. As you may, or as you may have heard, we lost one of our closest friends and brother at the start of this year. He will never be forgotten and will always remain in each of our hearts forever. We'd also like to remember the teachers who are not here today because they are viewing this uh, via live stream in their classrooms or are no longer teaching at Mac. Now we are high school graduates and soon we're going to be hugging and saying goodbye to one another and to this stage of our education. But we'll be saying hello to exciting and yet unwritten futures. Graduating class of 2020, we are crossing the finish line of high school and about to take a new step in life. As we move on, we will face challenges along the way and we will get through them because of what we've learned at school and by letting God control the journey ahead of us. We'd like to leave you with one more piece of advice from the scripture. 2 Timothy 6 verse 12 says, Fight the good fight of faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called when you made your good confession in the presence of many witnesses. For us, graduation is not the end. It is simply the beginning of a new and exciting stage in our lives. Our theme this year has been Dare To. Right now, class of 2020, we challenge you to dare to stay connected with God. Thank you all. Stay blessed. Peace. Mr. Hobson, our Education Director, parents, relatives, friends, students, staff and most importantly our Year 12 students. Year 12, firstly congratulations, you have definitely reached a milestone. You have completed your high school years, we finished your exams, we celebrated your formal and now we're celebrating your graduation. And we may be remembering the joys and sometimes the tears, but definitely the experiences that we've shared here at MAC. As I mentioned at our formal the other night, it has certainly been an unusual and definitely not easy year. It started extremely hard, not only with the devastating bushfires, but also the tragic loss of an ex-student, Jeremy, whom I need to let you know we were have a... Um, music scholarship in his honour at our school from now on. But you also had to deal with a worldwide pandemic. I doubt that any of you could have predicted what it was going to be like this year. When we first thought of 2020, we thought of amazing things. Little did we know there'd be so many bumps along the way. But you've truly shown your resilience and how to cope in an ever-changing world. Although you have not been able to participate in the usual activities you 12 have often had in the past years, and sadly our school captains Joshua and Jeremiah have barely had a taste of what leading out is really about, it has been a blessing to see the bond that you have created in your year group. No other group that has gone before you has had to endure all the things from learning from home, from wearing face masks, from continuous hand sanitising, from viewing chapels online, 
from being temperature checked not only to enter the school but even for each of your exams. Not being able to distance but to be socially distanced. Unable to attend camps and also not even being allowed to sing which we are so most used to at Mac. However, as overwhelming as it has been, I do hope that MacArthur has had some lasting positive impressions and made some significant influences in your life that will prepare you for life beyond Mac. While completing Year 12 is a mile marker, it is only a measurement of how far you've come. It does not measure how far you can go. Graduation is an event that evokes many different feelings for students. Some of you will be excited about the anticipation of beginning a new phase of life. For some, sadness in leaving a place that has nurtured you for many years. For others, apprehension in contemplating what lies ahead. And for some, there may be regret of what could have been. And for others, joy and satisfaction for what has been achieved and will certainly be evident in your HSC results. Well, I know for a fact that some of you struggled with the structure and routine of school, that some of you preferred to come in late, and I'm not naming anyone, wearing incorrect uniform, makeup, eyelashes, nails, rather than follow the rules. But I also know that the structure and routines served as an important purpose and hopefully have prepared you well. Each year as we farewell another group of Year 12 students and acknowledge everything they have contributed to the college, we must also acknowledge that we, what we lose as you leave. Every year a little part of us walks out of our college gates with the departing class. Because in amongst the hard work, the frustration and the stress caused, there are always many more moments of joy and feelings of success and pride. Whether you've been here at MacArthur for a short term or throughout all of your schooling, you have always been welcomed, class of 2020. And over this time, we've tried to teach you new and exciting things. We chased you for your homework. We challenged your behaviour. We nagged you about your appearance. But most importantly, we also nurtured you, cared for you and encouraged you to achieve your best because we only wanted the very best for you. We have marvelled at the many gifts and talents that you have, whether it's in academics, in music, performance or sport, or even in your service. You showed us that you could achieve if you are passionate about something and give it your full effort. Regardless of the nature of what you have done or achieved, your actions or achievements have all contributed to making you the person you are today helping to shape every detail about you and making Mac a better place. While you may have begun at Mac as little girls and boys, today you leave as fine and accomplished young men and women. You've completed your education grounded in the values of Jesus Christ and I encourage you to use the lessons learned and the values witnessed to serve as a very sound platform to launch yourselves into your future. We hope that a small part of MacArthur will go with you no matter where you are. And in hard times, I hope that lessons learnt will be your solid ground, your source of inspiration, maybe that voice in your head that you will be able to say that will be comf comforting, directing and reassuring you. Whilst it may not realise it now, some of your teachers have had a profound impact on you. Just as your parents have silently moulded and nurtured you into young men and women you are today, your teachers have been doing likewise. It may not be obvious for you now, but later in life, in a moment of reflection, you'll think, I learnt that or feel that way because of what one of the, my teachers had said or did so many years ago. As, a, as you leave, I hope you remember where you have come from because we sit here today with pride, having watched you grow over the years. We share your joy of completed secondary studies and we share your sense of triumph, your feeling of accomplishment for getting through. Some of us may shed a tear as we bid you farewell. We have nurtured you to the point where it's time to move on. 
hoping you will go on to fulfill your dreams, your hopes, your aspirations. To our Year 12 parents and caregivers, congratulations. And even though you may have experienced quite a roller coaster ride of emotions in your home, one day, in the not too, distant not too distant future, your son or daughter will tell you how much it meant to them that you kept them going, moving forward, feeling positive, well fed, forgiven, and supported to complete their secondary schooling. So although you may not hear it from your children often enough, from me, thank you for putting in all the effort, for supporting them and loving them so much that they can proudly say they have completed their HSC and are ready to face the world beyond. To the students in Year 7 and 11 who are watching this graduation at the moment, look carefully. This will be you one day. Your success depends very much on what you do today, how you apply yourselves in your class, how you prepare for your exams, and how you allow your parents and this college to help you become the best person you can be. Year 12, as you look back, it may seem like a blink of an eye. Sadly, your time at MacArthur has come to an end. Your rule here is over. And a time here where a distant future, you'll just hear the, remember this as a distant memory. Just as the end, just as the end leads to a new beginning, whether your new beginning is going to be measured by the results you achieve in your HSC, whether you qualified for university, whether you get into your TAFE course, whether you get your dream job or any job that you're hoping for, whether you marry your childhood sweetheart or whether you embark on some travel, I pray that you'll have many opportunities open up to you and places to go and experiences to have. I wish you the very best in this exciting phase of your life. Look back with fondness at the time you had spent here at MacArthur and know that you're always welcome when you're part of the Mac family. May the verse from the school hall foyer, which I know that you have read many times before, of Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. May it remind you that God already has a plan for you. So look out and beyond and do not limit yourselves. You were made in God's image. That means God's awesome power and perfection is inside you. It is not just in some of you, it's in all of you. Year 12, may God continue to abundantly bless you no matter where you go or what you do. Your Heavenly Father is always with you. May he guide your way and may you choose your life to be a life of purpose. May your lives be full of joy, peace, humility, compassion, faith and hope. Congratulations, Year 12 of 2020. We will now be blessed by a special item from five of our students. They are Jasmine, Vanessa, Tony, Lorenzo and Julianne and they will be accompanied by one of their teachers, Miss Minet. And don't you be afraid Joy comes in the morning Troubles, they don't last always For there's a friend in Jesus Who will wipe 
I'd like to invite Miss Boyd up to the stage for an acknowledgement to our TVET students. In Year 10 every year, there is an opportunity for students to sign up for a TVET course. This is a course that is run through TAFE um, usually through TAFE Liverpool, Bankstown or Campbelltown, the three closest TAFEs to us. Students can sign up for a whole range of courses and this year we have three students who have completed the course in Animal Studies Introduction. This course has been a 240 hour course that makes it equivalent to any HSC subject that runs for Year 11 and 12. As part of this course, they have also completed in excess of 60 hours of, of um, work placement in real live work um, places. We're unable to present certificates to them today because those certificates are, presented, um, are delivered to them by TAFE themselves. But we would like to acknowledge these students and I'd ask you please to stand as I call your names. Liana Anderson, Bethany Harbrow, and Hannah Pope. Please um, congratulate these students. Now I want to invite you to just sit back and relax while we view a few memories from the past. Victory is sure enough for angels by the side, the one who desires to overcome the victory is 
show the battle is the law it is okay to struggle along the way it is a war after all on his good name just come Don't give up, victory is sure enough For angels fight the south of one Who desires to overcome The victory is sure The battle wins the love Try to toss you to and fro Don't be intimidated He is already defeated Don't give up Victory is sure enough For angels fight the south to overcome the victory and show battle wins the love. People close to you cause you need to Be careful for the people that deceive you Keep a lookout for the ones who are told Where you going but never keep the same energy When they see you Keep the ones that are always there when you ride Those ones are really hard to find Cause when it comes to it and it'll show When it's time I will never need a doubt who's behind That's my team 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 From the bottom where we grind and that's my that's my team To the top where we shine it That's my team That's my team Every day I 
I think the Lord for the people need it. I know my life could be taken for the every reason. That's why I tell them that I love them while I'm breathing. I want to see them grow in life before I see them grieving. That's what I'm about. This one ain't for views or the counts, nah. This one's for the moves that I count. I'd rather be that one rapper living for the music than just another rapper that'll die for some clout. That's why I keep my people accountable for their actions. Tell them if we talk it, then we really have to back it. And I don't like violence. But if my brother Kendra call me and say he need me, then I'm out there riding. Out there riding. Out there riding. Out there riding. That's my team, that's my team. Same moves as carrying my cash, doing my day clothes. Make them some money with a having to make a flip. Try to give them a buzz with a having to take a sip. Says a leader, you supposed to put it first, even if you own criticizing. This is a very special class to me because after almost 25 years of teaching, this is the only class that I've had the opportunity to journey all the way through from year seven to year 12. And so oftentimes classes, when the students come back, they say, will you miss us? Will you miss me, sir? Or did you miss me, sir? Um, and I've told these guys, they, they will be missed. I, I will definitely miss them because I've spent the last six years with them and that's never happened in my life before, except with my own kids. So uh, actually mine were with me for longer than six years, don't worry. Um, this 2020 graduation marks the first year that we've got a complete disconnect between speech night and graduation. And so there are a number of awards that will be given out right now in lieu of doing that at speech night when it's normally been done in the past. And so we would like to begin by um, by presenting our subject awards, and I'm going to invite um, our principal, Mrs. Calandra, to present these. And when they are presented, when some of the awards are presented with a trophy, they will also be, um, she will also be assisted by Ms. Jones. So, subject award recognizes the student who has achieved the highest mark overall in each subject. The recipients for 2020 are for legal studies, Julianne Legomola. Le <laughs> sorry. For community and family studies, Bethany Harborough. For information processing and technology, personal development, health, and physical education, Paige Haranga. <laughs> For Bible, business studies, food technology, studies of religion, Grace Latu. For Industrial Technology and Modern History, Yemurai Musakoni. For Photography, Video and Digital Imaging, 
Satya Pramenter. For Bible, Biology, Chemistry, English Standard, Mathematics 2, and Physics, Jessica Sandu. <laughs> For Sports, Lifestyle, and Recreation, Latisa Shiwan. For visual arts, Tanya Thankachan. For English studies, Melina Faanu Tofaanu. And finally, for music, Jasmine Ulavalu. Please give our recipients for the subject awards for 2020 a round of applause. The next round of awards are our academic awards. The academic award is the highest honor MacArthur Adventist College bestows upon its students in the realm of academics. It is awarded to a student who achieves the highest aggregate mark. The recipient for 2020 is Jessica Sandu. The Endeavor Award is presented to the student in recognition, recognition of a commitment to doing their very best in all aspects of their education. The recipient for 2020 is Jasmine Ulavalu. The Creative Award. The Creative Award is presented to the student who excels in music, expressive movement, drama, or visual arts. The recipient for 2020 is Alton Latogi. The Citizenship Award is awarded to the year 12 student who lives out of class and school, sorry, who lives out class and school values. This student encompasses the MAC way and demonstrates the ideals of our school. The recipient for 2020 is Jasmine Ulavalu. Pastoral Leadership Award is given to a student that displays consistency in spiritual conduct, a heart for service, a desire to know Jesus more, a student that displays the ability to be a chaplain. This is awarded to Serolina Taisala.
For the next award, I would like to invite up um, Rob Mano. Uh, thanks, David. Uh, good afternoon, Principal Calandra, staff, parents and students. I'm Corporal Rob Manu and I'm a member of the Army Reserve and previous to that I spent nine years in the Australian Army. Uh, more importantly though, I'm the loving husband of one of your staff members, Chantel Manu. So despite the challenges we face this year, it's a testament to the staff that, that this event goes ahead and I'm honoured and privileged to be a part of it today. GADIF proudly uh, continues to present awards to students who display hard work, leadership, resilience and academic, ex uh, academic excellence. The first award, the ADF Future Innovators Award, goes to a student who has excelled in the area of science, technology, uh, engineering and mathematics and comes with a, a, with a prize of $550 and goes to Jessica Sandu. The second award, the ADF Longtown Youth Leadership Award, goes to a student who has displayed key core values of honesty, integrity and leadership uh, throughout, the, throughout the year and also comes with a prize of $550 and goes to Sarah Lena Taisala. The Sanitarium Information Technology Excellence Award is presented to students who have excelled in information technology studies. Each recipient will receive a certificate as well as a monetary reward. The recipients of the 2020 Sanitarium Information Technology Excellence Award are Year 12 runner-up, Tia Pamenta. Year 12 winner, Paige Harunga. Our overall citizenship award is given to a student in recognition of the contribution they have made to our college through their positive example and their respect for fellow students and the community. They are characterized by their commitment to do their best in all, in all purposes, um, all pursuits and settings outside, uh, outstanding examples for their peers. And the recipient for 2020 is Sarah Lena Taisala. Next up is our graduation certificates. Um, we will be giving the, the student certificates as well as a Bible. From Psalms chapter 119, verse 105. I'm not the pastor, by the way. I'm the IT teacher. I'm just saying that because I, we are presenting Bibles too. But your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. Psalms 119, 105. The Bible, wherever, whatever long-term plans you have, whatever short, short-term plans you have, as long as you put God first, I'm sure He would direct your path. So, without further ado.
Mr. Beebe, our stage, stage six leader, and also our beautiful principal, will be handing our certificates out. First up, we have Emmanuel Afri. <laughs> Mevish Ali. Liana Anderson. The handsome Isaiah Atala. Meloma Awelua. Taimo Buta. Vanessa Coakley Setu. Penhapek Duong. Julianne Longomu Fafiu. Melina Fanu. Sufayonu. Bethany Harbour. Paige Harunga. Kem Ni Huang. Giselle Ibbotson. The one and only Solomone Lanivia. Grace Latu. Elton Leotongi Lee. Casey Lovell. Anthony Makafana. The future New South Wales origin player, Anna Moore. Very soon to be a Broadway star, Yemurai Musokonyi. The next winner of Australia's Got Talent, Lorenzo Fayawa. Tia Parmenta. Hannah Pope. Future pastor and philosopher, Josiah Ramatai. My future um, family doctor, Jessica Sandu. Our fearless pastor and captain, Joshua Severe. Yeah. Next TikTok celebrity, Letitia Shiwan. Yeah. Sarah Lina Taisala. Tanya Thankachan. In 
absence. Angel Turner. Jasmine Ulavalu. Last but not least, Liliani V. I would like to now invite up our honored guest, Mr. Hobson. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very, very much. It's uh, my absolute privilege to be here under most unusual circumstances. Chat amongst yourselves, sit quietly. I just would love the opportunity to chat to you 12 for a short time, and so just be with me as I do. To pinch a little bit from uh, Principal uh, Calandra's talk this morning, God has a plan for you. And it was that you'd be here at such a time as this. Who could have imagined, just pinch yourselves, pinch the person, not hard, pinch the person beside, after the most unbelievable of years, here you are actually graduating in most unusual circumstances. The crowd is here, but it is not full, and there is a whole range of different things going on. There is a, an African uh, proverb that says, look, it takes a village to raise the child, and parents, friends, family, community people, teaching staff, we're all actually here to celebrate the success that is before us today. There's also a Sioux American Indian tradition on child rearing. Number one, and it's based on four really, really simple principles. Number one, belonging. You belong to the MacArthur family. You have been here, some of you have been here for 13 years and the teachers have become like your second mum and dad. You have spent most of those 13 years mastering a whole range of skills from service to academia to sport and more. You have seen, demonstrated by the teaching and the community and your family and friends here today, generosity. It's now your turn to actually give some of that back. And today, we're celebrating independence. You are leaving here as graduates, leaving here to pass on the traditions that you have learnt via the MacArthur Way here at this school as part of this family. My challenge to you is really, really simple, and it's found in Isaiah 40 and verse 31 and 32. Just bear with me as I fumble with my phone for one second. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. As you leave today, take this challenge with you that from this day forward, everything that you have learnt, everything you have been taught, everything that you have picked up throughout your MacArthur journey, has gifted you the opportunity to be the hands and feet of Jesus to those people that you come into contact with in whatever capacity it is you are called to serve. May God bless you is my prayer today. It is my privilege to uh, conclude our service today with a word of prayer and uh, I'd like our Year 12 graduates to be upstanding as well as our, uh, our family. Let's bow our heads for a word of prayer. Our Father in Heaven, we want to thank you for this time that we've been able to celebrate and acknowledge the achievements of um, our students. We thank you, Father, for the way that your hand has worked in our lives, the way that you have led these families to entrust this school uh, with your children. And standing before me are, yes, at one time they may be children, but now young adults stand before me. They're closing the chapter to one part of their lives and they're opening another chapter. 
And so, Father, today we ask that from the lessons and the experiences that they have um, learned here at MacArthur, that your spirit may go before them as they step out into the world, as they begin to step into the plans that you have for them. May they never forget that you were the God that knew them, that knew them before they were even born. That in their mother's womb, you had already set them apart. And so, Lord, as we, we release them into the next phase of their lives, I pray that your spirit may speak to them. May their ears and their hearts and their minds still be sensitive to the leading of the spirit. And as they grow in their relationship with you, may you show them the wonderful plans that you have for them. Thank you, Lord, for the parents that are here today. Thank you for the families that are watching online. And so we release into your hands these young people. Lead them. Grow, grow them. We ask it and pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. I ask you to remain standing for the recessional. parents and family. Just a quick reminder, the parking lot will become quite congested in less than 20 minutes. We're not trying to chase anyone away. It's just kind of an FYR. Thank you.
that fear and doubt in As though I was an orphan As though you didn't care As though I walked alone As though no one fights before me As though you didn't notice As though I have no hope why should I be afraid? Why should I, I be afraid? Because I have a father who is with me all the way. Would you be close to me and calm my anxious mind? Remind me of your goodness. Move the dark thoughts that you find